Guys, how you doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today we're gonna to do some leaf cleanup. Believe it or not, I actually just went through this whole freaking process two days ago, uh, Saturday morning. Here it is, Monday afternoon. And you know, as it is this time of year, the leaves blow, they come crashing down. It can go from perfectly clean to a mess yet again. You can see them blowing around behind me right now, but that's okay. That's just fine. That's this time of year. That's where we have this leaf collection system to go ahead and tackle that. Not really looking to get any grass clippings in this go round. Uh, I did have a little bit of minor grass clippings when I cleaned up on Saturday, but it's really not grown at all this time of year. It's November 2nd right now, the day before election day 2020. We'll see how that goes tomorrow, but uh, anyways. Mower's gonna be set probably in that two and a half to three inch range. Don't really anticipate making contact with the grass at all. I cut it one inch, so just sucking up leaves today. I'm gonna to go in pretty much just a circle pattern on the outside, just trying to be as efficient as possible, suck them up as quick as possible, dump them when I need to, and then get on with my day. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button right underneath the video. Check out the other videos on my channel and read through that description below. You can get a big GWT discount on this Protero dump from the seat bagger system and you can get a lot of other really cool stuff for your tractor by following those links below in that description. Well, so a few things to note really quick here. You know, one, if you're gonna be doing leaves and you want your yard to look good, it's a lot better to take the back back blower or your rake or whatever it is around the edges, like around your landscaping and areas around trees before you actually hook up and get on your tractor with the, with the material collection system. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a lot of little leftover areas. You can kind of see those around certain parts of the yard here, but I'm just going to get the, the majority of them. It's a beautiful dry day out right now, so the leaves are, dry they're not wet so I just want to take advantage and get the majority of it I'm probably gonna to have to suck up leaves another two or three times this fall so it's not the end of the world there also one of the reasons that I'm going around in the same uh, circle is not only for the efficiency but and I've noticed this with any material collection system on that discharge side when it goes into the boot and even just on the mower deck side because that's where everything flows is on the discharge side um, over there you're gonna get some leaves that don't get sucked up right so um, you keep them on the inside where you're gonna you're gonna overlap and keep going around in a circle Then you're not gonna have to worry about a bunch of little miss leaves that are kind of here and there in the lawn uh, in different portions of it, but I've noticed that with 
Uh, this system here, I've noticed that with the John Deere system. I noticed that on a Skag that I've used. I've noticed that on a Grasshopper that I've used. Pretty much any mower I've ever had leaves a little bit on, on the ground. Not not much. We're talking to this, the chopped up uh, fine little bit of stuff and you can go back over and suck it up. But if you're going to be efficient and you're just going in one circle around and around anyways, just leave that discharge side, you know, where the leaves are at over there. Don't go the opposite direction where you're going to uh, want to discharge onto the, the clean side that you've already sucked up. So hopefully that makes sense. And last thing you notice, I talked to the manufacturer, talked to Protero about um, actually releasing when you're dumping the hopper. And they said, you know what, common thing is to do is just back up and kind of hit the brake or let off the, uh, the accelerator so you kind of come to a, a little bit of an abrupt stop, not knocking your socks off, kind of an abrupt stop, but just enough to just let it shake out and shimmy out. You do that once or twice, I found that, you'll see that in the video here. It takes care of that problem when you, when you dump from the seat, you don't have to get off the tractor at all. It's a real piece of cake. Okay, so one question there I want to clear up about having a loader on the front end of your machine. So on my front yard, it's got a bit of a slope down there and it can get very unstable, you know, front, back, side to side, all that kind of thing. And I thought the extra weight maybe with the loader, I also had some suitcase weights on there too at the same time, but maybe is what I would need to really feel stability on there. I cleaned uh, just like this last time without a loader, just the five weights that are on the front there. So about 200 pounds or so of counterweight up front. Uh, offsetting the weight of the bagger on the back side that seemed to be just fine all i really needed that weight is down low there you don't have to worry about having the extended length there with your bucket if you're navigating around your landscaping trees fences the house whatever else it might be but just something to keep in mind you can run it with or without it is nice running it without it's just more compact i feel really stable and secure it doesn't feel light on the front end as far as turning or anything goes either but just something to keep in mind
Hey, thanks so much for watching again. This is the Protero Dump from the Seat. It's a PTO driven material collection system for not just John Deere, but for any subcompact or compact tractor. They'll size it accordingly for you. The right boot for your mower deck, everything else that you need there. You gotta call Protero to place your order, but you're gonna get a big GWT discount. Just mentioned Goodworks Tractors. They'll let you know what it is. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button right underneath the video. Check out the other videos on my channel and then read through that description below for all sorts of helpful links to cool tractor products for tractor owners like you. Well, until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.